Hello everyone. Today I will be sharing with you like something very exciting honestly. Uh, I'm sure that you would find very interesting if I share some of my spiritual experiences that I've gone through in my journey. So I thought why not I share some of my experiences. The reason is like sometimes you might feel like there are similar experiences that you've gone through in your life. Some of them you can resonate with and uh, I'm sure you might find it uh, interesting to hear some of those experiences because uh, like I haven't shared this before and I thought you might not share it. Okay, so uh, I, will, I will start from the very beginning, you know, like as a child, of course, uh, like I remember, and uh, let me share one experience. And uh, I was, I might be like age, uh, maybe nine or eight, somewhere like that, and I was watching uh, we have gone on a trip like sort of like uh, yeah we if it was like a family we went on to like a place which is a bungalow and then uh, at that place uh, I think there was a poet day poet day means full moon day in Sri Lanka and uh, I was watching this drama it was about a story of Angulimal if you have heard the story and I was watching that drama in the television and there were some family members as well. And uh, when I was watching that, I saw the scene where like uh, the Angulimal, if you have heard of uh, that, it is a murderer coming after Buddha in order to kill him. And that, that part was just uh, was on the television and then uh, there's a one thing which really struck me where in the, uh, the like Angulimala was telling like Angulimala like the murderer want to like kill Buddha and he says something like like I want to like can you please stop you know he was just like so exhausted because he was running after Buddha in order to kill him but since he cannot get hold of him he says can you please stop and then the Buddha said I have already stopped why don't you stop like I remember when I heard that there was something which happens inside me when the Buddha said I have already stopped and even though I was not so like I was just like a small kid still that really struck me that word that I have already stopped you know so there was a one like here I will be sharing you insights realizations as well as awakenings there was one time which really struck me and that really stayed in me I still remember and uh, And also I could say that there was one story and there's another story. I remember we like went to a, a, like a family friend's house and uh, another incident, you know, and then in that uh, particular place, uh, I mean, I always, whenever I go to a place, I think even that time, like nine years, 10 years, I might, like, I think even smaller than that maybe seven years, somewhere like that. I remember that I went to the friend's place, my family, friends, parents, and then we went there and then I was looking for someone to play with because wherever we go, normally we just look for someone to play with. And then it was something really interesting, like something was, which really struck me there. And uh, when I looked, for a kid to play with and then we were brought to a room and there was this child and that child was abnormal and he is uh, like 
not normal, you know, doesn't look, uh, can't do things on his own, and uh, very different than a normal kid. And then I found that very interesting because I've never seen something like that. And I saw how much suffering the parents were going through to try to raise their child. And there was another shift that happened inside me, seeing that, wow, like, if he has gone through that, like, I could go through that. I mean, in any birth, you know? It's just like, that is something that really have in me, which like, whenever I see something, I always just relate that to me and think like, if that has happened to him, how come it could not happen to me, you know, like, and that really struck me and, uh, and then see the suffering that child going through and seeing that the parents going through in order to raise that child really made a shift inside me, like, it, it just, it really, like, I was like, wow, like, this is the reality. You know, how come some children are normal and how come another child is abnormal like this? There's something really in playing here, you know, so I could still remember that when I, when I saw that child, like, I had so much, uh, I felt for that child as well as, like, that really stayed inside me seeing that child and uh, I was sad that he didn't play with us. I was really like looking at him very, very like curious way. I was always very curious as a child and uh, I was really observing what was going on. And uh, yeah, that is another incident I could share with you, like which really shifted me inside me to see the suffering of people and uh, yeah so um, and like I might go I'm not sharing it like that happened from childhood to youth and likewise I will be share going back and forth uh, with the stories and another incident I can remember these are like uh, like realizations I could say another time I was uh, I think at that time I was like maybe fourteen years or fifteen, I don't know, that, that that age. And I was watching the television in the evening and there's a monk who was on the TV. And I was just listening to him because he was talking in a more scientific way than a normal monk. So it's like, okay, this is interesting, let me listen to him. And then I sat down and I was listening. And then he said something really interesting. He asked from the audience, it was like on television, broadcasting. He asked from the audience, what happened when you put black and white together? Like something went blank inside me and that really hit me at that time. I mean, little did I know that he was talking about singularity, the oneness that I've experienced. But that really struck me, that like really hit me. And I was like, well, what did he say? You know, like I really felt there's some real depth to what he just said so simply. And then I was like really trying to find this monk so much. And, uh, but somehow like I remember like in the past, uh, like how we could find a program, TV program was from the newspaper. Like you can go to the newspaper, the last page and all the channels are there and you could find all the TV programs. I remember I was just checking 
all the channels and this this particular program somehow I couldn't find it was not happening continuously for some reason so I sort of lost uh, trying to find the uh, that monk and later I remember I was like I found I went to a neighbor's place and I found some of his DVDs and I just was like so curious and was listening throughout I remember but I was that really just shifted inside me you know because now I understand why it really struck me this he was talking about the singularity uh, but at that time that just shifted something in me and just hit me but I couldn't understand what was really happening it was like something like there was seed trying to sprout within me you know and uh, because we were not seeking this truth just in this birth, we've been trying to search the seeking this truth even our previous birth. So we are like habitually was like, so I must have had a like habit of seeking this for so long and that like with that experience, you know, that really struck me, I believe, even though like, uh, and that was very powerful. And, uh, and another time, I remember, I always like whenever I, uh, this is another incident, I normally uh, meditate in my room, this room, and uh, I go to the bed normally because that is more comfortable. I honestly was not sure whether I'm doing the right meditation or what, like not because I was doing it anyway so i remember this was maybe about 15 16 i would say yeah and i was meditating for some time and then something i just broke into like i just started crying and i remember i was crying for nearly 15 minutes or maybe even more than that and then the best part is the reason why I was crying is not because something really it's because of doom I was crying to see the suffering of other people and there was quite like really not very uh, normal for me because I have never cried it that way and I found that so like I was constantly asking why I'm crying because I didn't understand the reason because there was nothing happening in my life and I was pretty doing good and then I realized I was crying for seeing the suffering of other people And that was very interesting to me and and I saw how how like at that time I wasn't even realized what I have realized right now but still I had enormous compassion for other people seeing how ignorant and and I don't know like I, I saw that like how helpless everyone is including me you know Just like that, uh, just like it says that we are all living in a burning house, trying to get out of the burning house, but no idea how to get out of it. Until a Buddha comes into this world, a vacant one comes and share how to get out of it. So I remember there was no reason why I cried, just by seeing how helpless everyone is and trying how much they are trying to get out of this burning house and trying repeatedly the wrong things in their life in, her, in order to uh, get out of this burning house, you know. And uh, that was another interesting thing that happened in my life which I found at that time I, I didn't even understand. Now I can see, like looking back in my past, I can connect the dot and see 
what was going on, you know. And uh, and another time, and also like I remember at night time. Normally, this was happening throughout. At in the night time, I felt that uh, like so much stillness. And it's like everything has stopped. And then at night time, I found that it's very so deep stillness within me. It was like there's nothing inside me on on my mind. It was so deep stillness, and I, I have connected to a silence within me. You know, this was happening like throughout normally, like in my younger age, you know, uh, as a teenager, because I was meditating. So I always felt at night that I like as if something is just empty and just connected to the silence around. And I thought that was also interesting to share with you. And another time I remember, uh, this may be about age 20, somewhere like that. I was reading the book uh, Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now. And uh, when I was reading that book, I, I found it very interesting. The reason why I took that book was like, I found that I was, I cannot stay in the present moment. I was never in the now. Always I was rushing towards what's next, what's next. Yeah, there was such a struggle in my life. I was never enjoying the present moment. I was always, like not so satisfied with the present moment, so always projecting and just going into the past, future and constantly planning, unending planning. You know, if I imagine I go to a restaurant to eat food and then I think what I would do next and, and then I would be enjoying that meal at that time. And sometimes when I go to the, like I remember I was going to like, I was studying CIMA and then I was on lectures and I'm thinking what I would do after the lecture. And I, I miss all the lecturing. And then I realized this is a problem I have, you know, I was never enjoying the, because I, I could, I was living in my mind. I can literally see it just, I am like literally here, up here. And then I, I wanted to figure out a way how I can ground myself in the present moment because I realized I'm not really living my life because I saw that I'm missing out. The true real experience, like the being here now and being with someone you know, talking to another person. I was never, no, it was such a struggle for me and I, I felt there's something wrong for you because I, I was happy, like just because I realized I wasn't, I was never now. Always, either for in the past or future, mostly for me this future. And then I, uh, I remember like I wanted to do something about this you know and then that's where I just started googling like what is like uh, what can I do how can I ground myself in the now and then I found out this book Power of Now like and then I was like oh the title itself says Power of Now why not just check this book out and then I was reading the book and uh, I could see like middle of the book I felt like a real stillness on the energy that I felt so like still and like vibrating kind of a peace and that time I realized I was connected to the author's energy 
with his that author was saying then the author himself is telling that he was writing that book in a uh, book in a state which is uh, very still and he was just connected to the source and was just writing happening on its own and I connected to the same source and I literally felt the energy of that book energy of that author you know and those are like my guide like guidance you know intuition telling me that there's something in here and then I went deeper in his teachings and I wanted to absorb what he has to say and those were this is how like I developed my intuition and I was always listening to my inner guidance rather than to my mind because mind is nothing but you internalize society, what you saw, like what has society put inside it, just a, it's like a broken radio. So I'm, I'm glad that I was like trusting my intuition and going along with that uh, guidance, you know. It was another uh, experience I had. And another time I remember I was in the next room meditating at about 11.30 a.m. sorry p.m. and uh, night time was very still. It was very silent. I was meditating by myself. I always felt very deep when I was meditating at night because it was very silent and I sat for the meditation and I was meditating for some uh, maybe like 20 minutes it was very silent and I remember I was going very deep into the meditation and suddenly it was so silent and I, I just went very deep with my meditation it was all dark and suddenly I didn't feel my body I literally my body just disappeared And I found that was interesting. I don't know for how long that happened because time is uh, I wasn't really in touch with the time because time doesn't exist in that state. And I literally didn't feel my body. And uh, I could say Like, that was very powerful and I found it very interesting because like the body you can see it you can feel it and then suddenly it, it doesn't feel it anymore as if the body doesn't exist at that time I had like I, I got this inner knowing that I'm not my body. Because how come that just disappeared? And uh, that is another spiritual experience that I went through and uh, I found that was interesting because I've never experienced something like that. And then later I heard that there were who went very deep into their meditation and then suddenly they don't feel their body. In times like that people get very very scared because they don't feel their body but for some reason I wasn't scared but I could see my mind was a little bit uh, was like like panicking but then again I was very still and I wasn't scared and uh, that was a good that is a good sign it is a sign that you're going deeper in the meditation that is nothing to worry and uh, because you are not your body and you are the witness and you are the silent
silence around and uh, so that is another experience that I had yes um, and let me share with you another story this is also uh, something to do with uh, where they are just meditating. I could say this is when I was like maybe age 22, somewhere like that. And I remember I was just on the bed again in my apartment. I just, uh, I wasn't in my home. I was in, in an apartment where, I, because when I was going to the university, I had to stay in Colombo. And uh, so I remember I was just, meditating on babies in the morning. I wanted to do a meditation before I go to the university because I was, uh, I was very intense with this work even by then. And I sat for the meditation. I was uh, just listening to the sounds around me because I found that that's very, uh, I connect to the silence. And while I was meditating, I was hearing this honking sounds on the road. And then, uh, like I, I felt that I was going deeper into the meditation and I heard some bird outside. And at that time, I literally became that bird sound. It was like there was no deal me and there's a bird like deal me is listening and there's a bird singing and there's a hearing. All those three things just merged together, the subject, object and the see and the hearing, sensing, all that just merged together and I felt I became the sound. And there's no tune me or the bird or the hearing, it just became one. And I literally realized I am that I am that sound. I was very profound because I felt that merging of the object subject and the sensing together. There's no cursive. That I became literally the sound. And I found that that was very, uh, I felt there's something like shift or something really felt inside me with that experience because that merging happened it's like I felt that oneness so just it was not that oneness with the whole but oneness with that sound I just merged it's like a mini awakening I could say yeah And um, and then the next I could share about like I had many many experiences as such. And if you can remember, I have shared already about a breakup story, like two thousand eleven, I think. Even on that uh, two thousand eleven, there was I was like uh, age nineteen or somewhere around that. Oh yeah. And on that. Even with that experience, I remember that uh, when I when I have a relationship, I normally just uh, become very identified with that person. I remember at that time, I have the other person has I have literally identified as myself. 
I have identified him, the other, the partner, my boyfriend, as also myself. So myself is not just him, but also the partner, him, also the boyfriend. And then when I went through that breakup, I remember. So now it's like, deal me and the partner. And then when the breakup happened, he's no longer there. And I literally felt like some part was like, it was like a mini ego death experience. Some, some part just died inside me. I felt like I was dying. And that, that's why it was so painful because I have literally identified the other person as myself. So when the breakup was happening, some part has to die inside me. And that's why there was like a very similar inside I went through. I felt like if I'm, whatever I have shared with this man, and if I'm going to share it with other, another person, isn't that the whole thing is a joke? That's the exact realization I went through in my, like I could say the full awakening I went through in 2019. So there was like a mini awakening in that breakup, the whole thing is a joke. Because I, I literally went through a protect experience because the other has become myself and the way another is no longer there and your ego needs to die, part of yourself dies with the breakup. I hope you understand. It was very powerful for me. And also I would like to share that when you're going through such painful experiences, don't resist that pain. Be with that pain. You know, let that pain to cleanse you. Because you become a completely different person coming out of that pain. What most of the people are doing is they just either go for alcohol, cigarettes, you know, and then porn or sex or money or like they just try food. They try to like really push aside this pain. They don't want to go through that pain. They want to keep it aside. But I never did that. I really literally go, I just went through that pain. And that was very, very cleansing for me. And that was very transforming. I, I could say. That is another experience. Okay, let me share you the bigger awakening. I think I've already shared this, even if you have shared, you can check that on uh, Oliver's podcast that I've done. And uh, I believe I'll put the link in the uh, description so you can go and check that out. I've already shared this awakening experience. But here I will share it again and uh, maybe in a slightly different way. But it is the same experience, but yeah. And I remember in 2019, uh, on November, I think it's 11th. Like I was just on my like I had a mattress where I was sleeping right here and I could see I was just leaning onto the wall and I was watching a video at 1.30 a.m. in the morning. It was very dark, not like the night time, but I think I had put the switch on the lights and I was on my bed. I was watching the video and that video is also about uh, about like awakening and very deep uh, content and I was watching that 
and someday everything just disappeared. I could see complete blackness. At that particular moment, like everything was so clear to me. What is happening the whole time? I could see there were like, imagine there are, you know, there are puzzle pieces that you're trying so hard to get. At that time, I could see all the puzzle pieces came together and create the big picture and this is what is happening. It was all connected within me. And I realized this is what was going on. It was obvious the whole time. I literally connected to everything, every person, and I, I became everyone else existed. I realized everything was created by myself, and I, everything is a construct of my own mind. So, whatever I see, Whatever I experience in life is nothing but myself. There's no separation whatsoever. And that separation is being created by our mind. But in reality, there's no separation. Because you see in your own mind, there's no distinction. But your mind creates those distinctions. This is person A, this is person B. But in reality, it's just all oneness. And I felt so liberated realizing what was going on. The liberation I felt, I can't express that in words. I was neither happy nor sad. The experience I can't say, like, it is beyond words. You know, it is beyond the level of your mind to understand. Because mind wants to cling to one extreme. This is beyond that extremes because it is the singularity and, and at that time I remember my brother was just right next door and I was hearing something he was doing on the I can hear him and I felt enormous love for him that I never felt And I realized that I am the universe. And I realized I am that I was seeking the whole time. Just like in the movie Matrix, but here the Matrix is your mind, you know. And that the reason why this whole thing looks very real is because your mind creates it very fast. Because, because of the speed of your mind, you see it so real. At that particular awakening, what happened was like my mind was slowing down with the with the techniques and it, with whatever I was practicing and to a point for a moment I went to a no mind state there was no thoughts and everything was so obvious
there was never I to be gave. I never was born, so I will never die. Until you are there, the other will be there. And I realized I was, I was on a sleep each day, my whole 28 years of my life. I realized that every time I was having a conflict with someone, I was fighting with my own shadows. There was never anyone there. It was the whole time, like it was like I am the director of this whole movie and I am the audience. <laughs> what a joke. I realized that I am not my mind and I got de detached from my mind. So there was, there was like that, uh, I could say the bigger awakening I went through and uh, and that is the reality of this life. Let me tell you that something sometimes people get to uh, misunderstand me that I'm talking about that all these and illusion, no I'm not talking that. What I'm saying is, I'm not talking about any extreme, I'm not saying that this is real or this is an illusion. I'm talking about a middle path, that point is beyond your mind to grasp. And also that if I talk anything about the truth, it is not the truth because our mind, our words, if you take like words are dualistic in nature. That's why when I try to talk about the truth, it is not the truth anymore. So yeah, that could be, that is the, uh, that is that the week that I went through in 2019. So I think uh, I've shared uh, many, many spiritual experiences that I went through. There are a lot more like uh, realizations and uh, mini awakenings I went through but I think I have high, like uh, shared some of the highlights in my journey so I hope this could be helpful sometimes it might help you to even go to a deeper state to feel that sometimes you might connect to that deeper place. That's why I thought of sharing that. And uh, so I hope that is helpful in your journey. And uh, have a great day and take care.